Hey guys, how you going? Just want to show you some new features in Ableton 11 that I'm really loving at the moment. <clears throat> um, back in the day, trying to do something like this would have taken me ages and um, <clears throat> Ableton 11 makes this a lot easier. I'm going to show you what I'm... Well, first I'll just play what I'm talking about and have a listen to what's going on. <laughs> Cool. All right. Let's explain what's happening here. So let's just turn these off. So all I've done here is I've got a drum, drum, <clears throat> drum loop up here, just playing. And I recorded a bass line here on operator, which is just a sub of the bass line that I wanted to play. And then on here, on the next one, you'll notice I've just copied all the same bass lines down. So they're just the same clip. But what you'll see in here, if we have a look, oh, actually, let's start down here. So what's new to Live 11 is you can take screenshots of basically different parameters that you want to change in your plugins. So you'll see here, um, all you have to do too is, is just basically hit new when it creates a new variation. You tweak the, the, um, the parameters that you've mapped to your macros and then you take a screenshot like that and it'll save it and then you just repeat the process so you'll see when I change these see how these parameters are changing so they're all just different um, you know different almost like different presets having different presets of the same sound I guess um, super handy though and the reason why it's cool in this scenario I, I basically then you can map these play buttons to your keyboard which I did and then you can record the changes let's just have a listen to this line here if I just pr press play now notice how some of the um, notes aren't playing it's not playing all the notes that goes on to the next feature that I really love <clears throat> with Ableton's, uh, Ableton 11's doing, I'll show you. So if I go in here, you'll see uh, there's new panels up here. It's all arranged a bit differently. Let's just look at the first panel. You'll see down here where it says velocity and also here chance. Um, this is really cool. So basically you can... Um, randomize all your velocities just by selecting velocity there and hit the randomize button and it'll randomize all your velocities and same with the probability of when this note is going to be played so as you see i just um hit the chance button you hit random you'll just you'll notice um randomize and it's just randomizing the probabilities of when those notes will play so You'll notice some don't play and some do play. Now, because this is the top end of the bass and the sub bass stays the same, it makes for an interesting kind of... See? It's like playing certain tweaks. And I thought, oh, well, that's pretty interesting. So the next... So I basically copied it again, added this wave table, and did the same thing, where I basically randomize the velocity and the chance on a different sound so now there's two two bass lines randomly playing different with different um, snapshots changing at the same time which is cool now on this next one on the I've done some different ones on this okay so I just thought I'd put in an LFO to Max for Live and just change the frequency randomly just through this with a random LFO here. So that's always. And you can see that's just randomly 
triggering, triggering those notes depending on the percentage that I chose, which I just chose randomly anyways. If you have a look down here, it's just all of these different notes per note is, you know, this one's hitting at 88% of the time. This one's 25% of the time. This one only hits 12% of the time, this particular note. So yeah, you can change them, but I've just done it as a probability thing very quickly. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, so if we have a look at this one, I've just changed, I basically selected all of these here and you can move them all down. I'll, these notes will only hit 58% of the time or whatever. But I actually wanted all of these to hit at about 85% of the time. So I didn't randomize the chance, I just, Put it at 85% because I want to I want them mostly to hit. So when you hear this all together now, it's like Yeah. You can always change it. So yeah, really cool. Just just to run through it again, it's the same bass line, copied four times, different instruments. You know, hit on different probabilities. Basically, this one's 85% chance. This one's all over the place with the chances on all the notes being different just by hitting the randomize button. Uh, this one here, again, same thing. All prob probability or chance is has been changed just by hitting randoms, and also velocity also has been changed on that. Super simple. Very, very effective. Now, the other feature that's worth mentioning is basically I just grouped all of those um, and sent this group to an audio channel over here. So now I can just record this group easy enough. Um, so if I just put this in record, you'll see um, I'm getting the audio from group two, which is here. So just to make sure you'll see. Let's see how it's coming up here. So if I just record this now, um, so it's it's recording all those random variations that I've put in there uh, with the snapshots of the macros changing as I recorded those just off my controller. So I'm getting somewhat of a different take every time it passes through it's always kind of evolving and oh that was good that changes all the time now obviously that's pretty random i'll record one more well you could record this for ages if you wanted to but i'm loving basically this new feature which is you can see it's the comping feature of ableton 11 where um, as it's recording, it's showing you all the takes in different lanes here on the side. So let me just make this our last recording. When it drops out, have a listen. Sweet. Okay, so I'm just going to mute, <clears throat> mute the group. And okay, so what I'm hearing now is the audio takes. Right. Now, what's cool about this is I can get the pen tool here and I can just choose um, sections of what I want to be in my comp up here. So I'm just choosing basically different sections. I'm just going to, I'm obviously not listening to it, but you get the idea. Whatever I'm choosing it takes out of certain ones. So, you know, this one here will end up here and this one here ends up here. And it does it so well. Like, see, it just easily chops away things for me. You know, so I don't have to sit there for ages. And it turns it into a new comp up here. That's just so simple. 
So, okay, so this, I haven't obviously heard what this is going to sound like, but what I'm going to hear now is <clears throat> all of these pieces basically come together in this lane up here. So let's have a listen. Might sound like rubbish, might sound cool. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Okay, see here how it didn't sound very cool. I didn't like it. It kind of was a bit. Yeah, I didn't like that one. So maybe I'll change that bit for that bit. Maybe that helps. They're all about they're all pretty much the same. It's not much So see so yeah, so you could sit here. So that was buck 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 not very cool. Maybe change it to a different note then. Yeah, see, much better. So you can tame the randomness by comping it in a line here in a new audio line and, and then just kind of choosing the bits you want and then there you go you've got that new take so yeah really loving that new very quick easy feature the comping is not just with audio you can comp midi if you want it's just yeah it's next level ace feature or features snapshots so yeah macros you've noticed you've got heap more heap more macros too to play with um, I was only, only using a couple, but you've got up to 16 now, um, which is really, really cool. And this whole snapshot thing that you can just basically keep recording those snapshots uh, into your arrangement. I mean, that's just another level of mashing. Just, yeah, cool feature. See you guys.